Hey guys, in today's tutorial we are going to show you an advanced method to solve error SU30645-8. Now this is part two in a series on how to fix this issue. Um, if this is the first video you're watching on how to fix this, I would highly recommend to look in the description of this video and try the easy mode first. Uh, and then if the easy mode doesn't work for you, come back and try this video. Uh, in this video, we are going to show you how to create a USB boot drive where we will install the update file and then use safe mode to install it. So let's go ahead and get started. Uh, the first thing you're going to want to do is put a empty thumb drive into your computer. Uh, once you have it connected, go ahead and go to File Explorer and let's open it up. Here we have it as the D drive. Now, I've already created a boot drive here, um, but I will kind of walk you through the steps of how I got there. Uh, the first thing that we're going to want to do is format the drive. We do that by finding our thumb drive, right clicking, and select format. Now you're going to want this to be formatted in FAT32. Uh, and while we're at this step, it should also um, be said that we need a thumb drive that is at least one gigabyte in size. Uh, if it's smaller than that, you may run into some issues. Uh, if you don't have one that's that big, uh, in the description we have an Amazon affiliate link where you can pick one up. I think it's less than $10. Uh, so go ahead and make sure that you have FAT32 selected. Go ahead and you will click Start. Uh, and then it will ask you if you want to delete all the data on the thumb drive. Uh, you will need to do that. Uh, so make sure you don't have any important files on there. Go ahead and click Yes. When you do that, you should get a completely blank thumb drive. Uh, the first thing that you're going to want to do is right click select new folder and name that folder ps4 we're going to go ahead and not do that because we've already got it created here um, and then you're going to want to open up the ps4 folder right click new folder name it update and go ahead and enter the update folder now here is where we want to install our PS4 update file. Uh, we get that by going online to Sony's website. Uh, let's open up a new window here. Uh, the link to where you can download it will be in the description of this video. So you can go ahead and just follow the link. And once you've got that uh, page open, Sony's PlayStation uh, software page can be a little bit confusing. Um, if we scroll down here, there are actually two separate files on this page, and they don't do a very good job of differentiating them. You can see here there is a PS4 system software update file, and then if you continue to scroll down, there's a PS4 complete system software file. In this tutorial, we want to download the system software update file, um, so you just go ahead and click here and it will begin downloading. I'm going to go ahead and cancel. Um, once you have it uh, downloaded, you can go ahead and click, select show in folder, and that should take you to your downloads or wherever you have the file. You can go ahead and copy the file and you're going to go back to your thumb drive into PS4, into update, and right click and select paste. Now one thing to be aware of, if you download this file multiple times, your computer will try and rename the file so that it knows how to keep it straight. Uh, if for some reason yours is named something like PS4 update and then in parentheses you have a number, you just need to right click, select rename, and take out the number. The name of the file must be ps4update.pup. Um, so that's how we build the thumb drive. Now we're gonna go ahead and go over to our PlayStation and we will boot it in safe mode and install it 
that way. All right, to boot in safe mode, we're gonna go ahead and insert our USB drive, and then we're gonna hold down the PlayStation button until we hear it beep twice. Usually we have to hold down uh, the power button for probably eight to 10 seconds. So we'll go ahead and there's the first beep. If we continue to hold down the button, there's the second beep. Uh, so now it's gonna boot in safe mode and give us some options here. So you can see here on the safe mode menu, it asks us to connect our controller using a USB cable and then press the PlayStation button. So if we go ahead and do that, it's going to bring us to a list of options. The option that we want to use now is option three, update system software, and we're going to update from USB storage device. Uh, it tells us to go ahead and insert our thumb drive, which we have hopefully done at this point, and we will go ahead and click OK, and then it will walk us through the process here. Uh, now, because we have the update file, it should not delete any of our games or data. All it should do is uh, update our console to the latest version of the system software. So, uh, like I say, this is a little bit more advanced method. Um, hopefully it helps. If this method doesn't work for us, there is another one uh, that you can go ahead and check in the description of this video. If this did work for you, please give us a thumbs up. If it didn't, ask any questions. We'd love to help. Appreciate you guys watching. It means a lot. Uh, thanks for supporting the channel. Happy gaming and have a great day.